So that's there right there. Let's add it down there. Thank you. Wally. All right, let him in. Hey, Vinny. Ah. Hey, Paulie, it's been a while. Come on, take your seats. Tony, get him a drink. What brings you in tonight? Oh, nothing much. Just want to chat a bit. You know, maybe talk a little business, you know, before the weekend comes around. What's on your mind? I was at the club uh, the other... <sighs> I went down to the club last night. What a nice place you got there. Yeah, thanks. You know, the women are gorgeous, the liquor is cheap, the money's flowing. Doing well there. We try our best. Yeah, you know, it, it's a real good place. But there was one problem. I didn't see any of our product moving. Now, you wouldn't have happened to have turned down Joey's all-so-reasonable deal, would you? Joey and I have an understanding. And since you're here, I assume that he must not fully understand. Please tell him I appreciate the offer, but I'm not interested. You don't get it. Joey runs this town, and he is tired of you boxing him out. Okay, look, you're here because he lets you. The only reason you're allowed to operate is because of him. He is why you're here, and you shouldn't be disrespecting him. Don't disappoint him. He thinks there's something great in you. You better not bite the hand that feeds you. I'm a man of business, Paul. I don't fold when someone presses me. I go with my instincts. I've seen too many men brought down by Joey's business, and I just won't be a part of it. I won't let my business be destroyed by Joe's- Do you not get it? You cocky son of a bitch! I'm not asking you to do something. I'm telling you. Okay? You need to lace up your boots and stop moving product. Have you forgotten your place? I know who I am. I know what my place is. I just like to keep a level head when talking about business. Otherwise, things build up, and you just end up losing control of everything. Go. Go give Joey my message. Maybe this time he'll understand. I came over here just to help you. And all I get is disrespect. You know, you just opened up Pandora's fucking box. Don't expect me around here anymore. Think you got the message? I think so, Tony. <laughs>